because Andy, whether or not Kevin and I are ordering uh, Domino's pizza in, in downtown Chicago or the suburb of Chicago really doesn't matter. It's just a matter of are people ordering Domino's pizza and are, are they talking about it? Yeah, they are. Um, you know, one of the things we look at at like Folio, a lot of times we're focused on individual companies. Uh, in this case, we wanted to zoom out a little bit and just look at the overall trends, um, which kind of aren't going in Domino's favor. And that is when we look at, you know, what people are getting delivered um, since the COVID uh, surge, things have really settled down. And now we kind of get an idea of where things are, you know. Now Domino's has a different level of competition because they're not just competing against Yum Brands Pizza Hut. They're not just competing against uh, Papa John's. They're now competing against DoorDash, Uber Eats, every restaurant in town, and it is having an impact. And now a uh, rising tide lifts all boats. Uh, all delivery is up uh, significantly, but pizza delivery is flat. And so general food delivery up 23% year over year versus pizza generally uh, delivery in general being flat tells me that Domino's has a growing amount of competition. But within the pizza space, Domino's continues to do very, very well uh, against their rivals, Papa John's and Pizza Hut. So there's conflicting uh, trends here. Uh, I think that the overall delivery, you know, food to go is not going anywhere anytime soon. And there's plenty of room for all of these players. And it's good to see uh, Domino's really uh, taking advantage and dominating uh, the niche that they are in. And so uh, those two working against each other is going to make for a really interesting earnings report. I'm very interested to see what the, the company uh, talks about in their, in their post uh, report call. Um, they've really focused in a lot on uh, the suburban and more rural locations because those are doing very well. Whereas the uh, urban centers, where there's less people going to work, there's less people uh, getting things delivered uh, while they're at work, those are struggling. And so I think that there will be uh, a lot of conflicting information on this call and be interesting to see what the executives really key in on as they talk about the future of their business. Andy, when I look at your data, so one thing on your data surprises me and another doesn't surprise me. What doesn't surprise me is that overall food delivery picking up versus pizza. That yeah. is almost predictable, right, that it would be. But what d does surprise me is the fact that you show overall pizza delivery dropping off because... Yeah. I would think that within that whole world that is food delivery, that pizza would bare minimum hold its own against, you know, if, if you think about it, pizza's one product. You can get ribs, you can get burgers, you can get sausage, you can get salad, you can get all those other things in other food deliveries. I'm just surprised that you're seeing overall pizza down in terms of delivery. And I guess... I don't want to answer my own question. Do you think it's just because overall food delivery is newer? P old, you know, pizza delivery is more of a uh, you know a lifetime uh, exercise for people, where every single kind of food delivery is relatively new. Your thoughts, Andy? Yeah, that's part of it. I think the other thing that we tend to miss when we think about pizza delivery is the fact that a lot of times pizza delivery is event driven. And so it's when you're having a bunch of people over to your house for a party or there's a big game on TV, that's when it becomes really easy to order a lot of pizzas. And there are a far fewer of those events occurring. People have really contained the size of their uh, social gatherings. There's not as many sporting events that are driving uh, people to get together and order pizza. And so while overall food delivery is, you know, I need a meal tonight for my family, what am I going to do? I'm gonna check out DoorDash or Uber Eats. Uh, pizza has fallen off in terms of that decision-making process, and it's not benefiting uh, as much from the events and the parties and the social gatherings that make it a natural choice. And so that's why, uh, generally speaking, we see pizza uh, flat year over year, while the rest of the food delivery sector is really booming. 
Yeah, and Andy, I think this is actually getting to where I was going to take the conversation, so I'm glad that you did. Is it, you know, a crazy take to say that pizza actually maybe benefits from a more normal uh, kind of lifestyle, a more normal back to things how they were before, where generic food delivery clearly is going to benefit from you can't go to a restaurant, you're more likely to order takeout uh, just so you don't have to cook at home, where pizza, to your point, you know, a kid's birthday party, it's a lot easier just to order a bunch of pizzas than it is to get every single kid's individual order with all the substitutions on, you know, each little sandwich than it is to just, hey, let's just get a bunch of cheese and pepperoni pizzas and they can have at it. Yeah, that, that's the whole deal. And so when you look at, if I'm Domino's and I'm going into this call and I see this data, I would say, look, at, you know, food delivery's up and you put us in that bucket. But we really shouldn't be in that general bucket. We are our own category, and we're dominoes. We're dominating that category. And not just that. When the normal life resumes, we're positioned versus our peers in a much better place. And not just that, but also a lot of our peers are going out of business because they were walk-in restaurants. They were a little bit more mom and pop, not as well capitalized. And so we're going to be one of the last men standing out of this battle as we go into uh, the more fruitful times, and we're in a really good position to take advantage of that. That's the story I want to hear from Domino's executives. That's what I expect to hear. I hope it, I hope it happens uh, tomorrow morning, but we have to wait and see.